Welcome back to Sunday League Football. And look at that, we're in the blue again. If you missed last week's pre-season friendly against Shotgate Rangers, be sure to go and check it out. It was a good one. There was goals. And hopefully we'll see more goals today as we take on this lot here. They go by the name of Merchant. They're actually in the same league as us. I think they was in the same division last season, but they've dropped down to a Division 1. We're in the senior this year. And as I say, this is a whole new experience for us. We've never been in a different league before. So I'm hoping this game could be a good measure of what we could expect for the upcoming season. But before we get into it, last week we announced that we've got a season-long partnership with FopMob, which if you didn't know, is the greatest football app you'll ever find. Pick your favourite team. You might even find us one day. Within that, you'll be able to set tailored notifications according to your needs. You've got in-depth stats not only around the teams, but the individual players within those teams as well. And I did not know that Hugo Lloris was 188 centimetres. And I didn't know that Harry Kane was exactly the same height. As career stats are looking good though, Harry. Just make sure you stay with us a bit longer, please. It honestly doesn't matter which team you follow. Nine times out of ten, FopMob have got you covered. It's not just England we're talking. We're talking globally, all over the world. So ladies and gentlemen, it goes a little bit like this. If you want the best football app out there, look no further than FopMob. It's available for free, yes, free, from iOS and Android. Link is in the description below. So unfortunately, we have no reference today so a big thank you to Luke today for stepping in and uh, being our standing referee it's never an easy job but Luke's an honest guy I'm sure he was paid with drinks down the pub afterwards so obviously Luke's not playing today but let's find out the starting lineup for this one in between the sticks we've got a Jordan then at the back it's new signing Nick Foxy and Connor B we've got two wing backs in Webby and Jacob up and down today boys please in the middle of the park we've got Tommy we've got Big Josh and then Tommy's next door neighbour then lead the way up top is Bill Tex and Dwight we've also got a few bods on the bench as well including Shane Charlie Nolsey Connor C and Tomo if he wants to come on at some point too so as you can see we're pretty much ready to go in this this one should we do this? Of course, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna start on the front foot here as this pass is cut out by Tommy Tom Tom. And it's just occurred to me that this team don't have numbers, so I'm just gonna have to describe them by their hair, boot color, or just their general physical appearance. As Tommy thinks this one over the top is cut out by the defender there and picked up by the keeper. In the third minute, Luke looks like he's gonna offer this guy out for even considering passing through his personal space. Yeah, bro, I'm part of the pitch. I'm part of the pitch, mate. As we move on, Merchant pass it out from the back, but it's cut out by Connor B. Very well read there, like the horoscopes in the mirror. I'm a Virgo, and the moon and Saturn combined the other week. And as I read on, it told me that Jacob was gonna pick up the ball on the near side and pass it into the middle for Big Josh. I never normally believe these things, but it's happening before my eyes. I think he also said something about a foul. As Bill Tex picks it up, he's foul from behind. It's actually happening. That looks like Tommy Tom Tom's going to line this one up as he gets the ball into position. He puts his hand on it, spots the run of Webby. It's like Argentina versus England, 98, I think it was. It's Zanetti! <laughs> On this occasion, though, it wasn't Zanetti, it was Webby. And I just went back to watch that free kick from Argentina. It's, it's not the same. It's, it's the same principle. A short pass around the wall, and there was Webby to slot it home for 1-0 to the Palmers FC. Happy days. Let's go and get some more. We're going to kick off, but we're also going to listen to Luke's very soft whistle. Shut, shut the eyes. So we've got Merchant in possession here. As this long ball comes forward there, it's a late challenge from Tommy. It's going to be brought back for a free kick. And that free kick is going to be taken by somebody. I can't see the ball at the moment. I'm not too sure where it is. Oh, it's just been taken by the keeper. Into the box. Free header. Oh. He wants to see some good football between Tommy and his next door neighbour. Watching this just makes me want to be able to play football. I wish I could. I just wish I was good. At least I get to commentate on it as Dwight picks it up here. He puts it forward for Jacob. I think he's been pulled back there. I'm not too sure. Tommy's in the way, of course. <laughs> Oh. Keep up with the play, Luke. Yeah, Dwight, a little bit late there, wasn't he? But it was a free kick on Jacob is going to happen right now. It's Tommy's next door neighbour to float this one into the box. On the end of it, his new signing, Nick, but that is up rather than at the goal. Score stays 1 0. So we all know what Tommy and his music is about. He's such a relaxed player, makes things look so easy. But it's got to be said, he does get stuck in at times as well, just like here. I'm just going to try something. <laughs> I kind of like it, to be fair. I'll tell you what I don't like. People getting in the way. We need that time I wrote. We need it desperately. Otherwise, we're not going to see things like Dwight cutting on the inside of his man, playing it into the box for Jacob. As you saw there, Luke's pointing to the spot. This one's a penalty. Is it, though? Jacob's adamant there's contact here. I, hmm. Listen, I'm just thinking if this was given against us, I feel like it would be a very soft penalty. But listen, decision's been made, and Webby steps up. As I always say, we don't really need to see replays of penalties. This lad here, still not happy. There's not a chance in the world that that's a penalty. I don't know, look, I don't know, look like I swear, damn. I swear. Yeah, as Webby picks the ball up over there. Wait, look at him. He's spinning, he's turning, he's cartwheeling. He's on a brace. Not bad for a centre back playing wing back today. He's just won us a free kick over that far side. It's Tommy's next door neighbour once again. Floats this one towards the back post, and nobody's on it. Nobody at all. 23 minutes on the clock now, and we're still fairly comfortable. Merchant in possession, though, as it's flicked back. New signing, Nick cuts it out. It's got to be said, I've missed Bill's screams. This one, though, sounded like a chicken. Let it go! 
Quick substitution, Tomo making sure everyone gets minutes today. It's Dwight that's making way for Connor C up top. Now, for someone who suffers from ankle injuries repeatedly, um, I don't like watching this. And I'm afraid to say, new signing Nick is going to be out for about six weeks after this. At full speed, it doesn't look too bad. Zoomed in and slowed down, though. All of his weight is going to be on his ankle right about now. He's just balancing. It's ugh. I don't like it. And you can see it's sort of wedged and stuck in the ground there. It's only until he manages to kind of fall back and get his ankle out of the ground. It's a nasty one. A nasty one indeed. But despite that, he's an absolute hero and looks to try and play on. You can see him here getting up as Merchant are in possession. Looks like they could get something from this as well. The ball is put into the box. On the end of it is a Connor B. I don't think Jacob was expecting that one. It's a heavy touch out, but there's Big Josh to clear. It's only as far as this lad here. I think he might be the captain. You'll notice new signing Nick hobbling about there, trying to get back involved in the game, but it's just not happening for him. He'll be off in a minute. Here's the outcome of it. Complete with some sort of hoover and electric fittings in the background. There's his ankle, and um, yeah, he's, he's, he's screwed. That on both sides as well. He's done some damage. And just before the half hour mark, that is his game over. As we continue, it's Tommy Tom Tom that puts it out to Big Josh. He looks up and finds Jacob on this near side. He's going to cut inside of his man. Lovely. He's then going to find Bill on the edge of the box. Who wants it? No one, Bill. Just shoot. I like text. I like you, mate. And so we go from one end of the pitch to the other. Thanks to the keeper here. It's a big kick up the field. Over the halfway line it goes. It's up with, um, what's he got there? Is it white boots or is it like a pale yellow? A pastel yellow. Could even be that funny glow in the dark colour. Either way, he's bundled through Shane and Foxes. He puts it across here for the man up top. Too easy for Jordan. Up the other end, we're just waiting for Bill Tex to get through all of his chances before he scores a goal. I think he's only on one or two so far. Normally, he takes about six attempts before he does get that goal, on average. But the most important thing is he does get goals. This one here, though, this was just an attempt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And this one was as well. Connor C linking up with Bill Tex, putting it out to Jacob on this near side. And from now on, it's just sort of a new signing Nick in the way. Note to self, must get Tomo Rowe. Because it's put back to Connor C here. He's looking for an outlet. There it is with Bill. Oh, oh, boy, so we continue to knock on the door as this one is whipped in towards the back post. There's Shane over the bar. And Luggy, if he wasn't already on top in this game, we're really starting to make this first half our own as Tommy Tom Tom puts it back to his next door neighbour. He then sticks it forward to Connor C who turns and shoots. Oh. From the goal kick, it's sent up the field, but it's going to come straight back, isn't it, boys? It's Foxy up to Tommy Tom Tom who lays it back to Shane. Touch from him. Another touch from him. One more touch from him in the past as he puts it across to Tommy again. As he looks forward, he plays it up to his next door neighbour. And he puts a lovely little dink forward to Bill. He looks to get away from the man in yellow. That's that's all I can describe him as. The ball stopped momentarily, but he puts it through to where he was on the attrick. Oh. Oh. Right side, it was a great save, but I'm just gutted that Webby hasn't got his hat trick. More importantly, from left wing back. But now we've got some defending to us. The man up top comes forward here. And he makes his way into the box. He's being held up by Foxy, but he's going to look to take him on as he goes across goal. Can he get the shot in? Well, he can, but it's soft. Just like that ice cream that's in the freezer, but isn't too hard. It's just still soft. That's what that shot was. And I like that sort of ice cream, but I didn't like that shot. So maybe it wasn't. That's a really bad comparison. Let's just move on. Our opponent's merchant. They're going to be ending this half the strongest side. The ball scooped out to that far side there. And then well out on the wing for the man with the white boots. He's allowed to take a touch and open up. No pressure what Whatsoever, as he's allowed to deliver as well. But there's Jordan. And this right here is a whistle. Right, we've got an issue here that a dog has pooed on the pitch at some point, and it stinks. Whoa, have not real? <laughs> it's bad. It's going to be an interesting second half. But before we get there, to celebrate the return of the Premier League and Football League, our partners, Fotmob, are doing something really, really nice. They're going to be giving away both our home and away shirts to one lucky winner. And to get yourself into the hat, all you got to do is this. Simply download Fotmob. It's free on iOS and Android. Next up, find your team's fixtures and take a screenshot of the game that you're looking forward to most this season. Got it? Good. Final step. Simply head over to Twitter, reply to our pinned tweet with that screenshot, and boom, you're in the hat. The winner will be announced on Friday the 18th of September. That's my birthday. That, my friends, is pretty much it. Good luck. So as you can see, we are ready for the second half with the addition of a white cone. That is covering the dog poo. Welcome back to Sunday League Football. Luke, blow the whistle. So a quick start from us. Bill making his way forward. Could potentially be a goal. He's had a few chances now. But the merchant defence, on his case, he ain't getting nowhere this time. One minute later, Fox is thinking, I didn't pass my fireman's calls for this. The idea of a cone on the field seems quite ridiculous, but he's given up on the idea now. He's staying put. But at what point of the game will it be disturbed? Almost here. Almost here. It's also worth noting that the majority of it is under the cone, but there are some little bits that couldn't be covered around it. What a crap game. See what I did there? Because the poo and the crap. And uh... Anyway, merchant are through here. Oh, wow. oh, 
Here we've got Shane now on this near side, putting it up to Bill on the edge of the box. Touches it down for Tommy's next door neighbour. Shoots. A little bit wide. It's a little bit over. It's over. Good save from Carroll at the back there. We've only been going six minutes in this half, but it's got to be said it's been a little bit more even than the first half. Shane caught in position just here on the halfway line. Captain puts it forward to the man in the white boots. And he's allowed to travel as far as he wants here. No one putting him under pressure as he shoots. And that's another save from Jordan in between the sticks. As we fast approach the 60, if Tomo's in the way, but he's got his blue shirt. And does that mean he's coming on? It looks like it. New signing Nick should be resting that ankle, but he's doing the line. And how do I realise Knowles is not on? For anyone wondering, Knowles is on. New signing Nick with a signal. He's going to be a substitution. Tomo's making his way onto the field. I don't know who's coming off. Cheers, Jeff. As we continue play, Tommy's next door neighbour puts it forward to Knowles. He looks to get beyond his man here. He's going to burst into the box and fizz a lovely cross with the wand of that left foot, but nobody can get on it. Lovely crosses recently from Knowles. I do like it. Note for the Palmer strikers, if Knowles is bombing it, you've got a bomb too. Merchant's turn to come forward now. It's dinked over the top. It's cleared by Foxy. Picked up by Tomo. Who shields the ball there and plays it back to Shane. It's a first time pass from Shane, but it's a misplaced one as Merchant pick it up and they're back in possession now. Here they go again. Both teams playing extremely dangerously, bearing in mind there is a piece of poo under that white cone over there. But as white boots for Merchant picks it back up on closer inspection, it's actually blue as well. We'll go with white and blue boots as he puts it forward to glow in the dark boots, sticks it across the goal for the man with the black boots. Okay. Yeah. 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 It was too easy. We made it far too easy for them. We could have been out of sight in this game, but now they're back in it. This cross here fooled the defenders. I think they thought it was going to fizz across. Connor B inches away from clearing it, but it falls to the man in yellow. Unfortunately, Jordan in goal has been great today. Couldn't stop that one. It's Merchant 1, Palmers FC 2. And so we kick off. Within a couple of minutes, Merchant back in possession as they look to get an equaliser. Little or no pressure on this team at all. I mean, just look at this pass here. It's poor control as it's picked up. We should be on them. Bang! But nope, they're allowed to recover. It's white and blue boots in possession as he plays it with black boots. Gets it back. He shoots. Deflection comes through to another person with black boots. So about two minutes ago, we were 2 0 up, and now it's 2 2. Fair play to Merchant for getting back into this one, showing a little bit of grit and determination. It's got to be said, we've completely invited them on. When you do that to a team like this, I guess they say thank you very much. And that, my friends, now makes it Merchant 2, Palmer's FC 2. So as we go to kick off, Andrew's sort of, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's sort of just staring at Jordan. Nice kit, to be fair, but uh, I feel like we're going to miss kickoff. We have missed kickoff. And Nolsey, who came on, he's coming back off. I think he's got ankle problems. That already just stinks on this side. Jake is replacing him. 66 on the clock now. The keeper sends it forward, and it looks like two men are going for it. No communication whatsoever between Foxy and Shane, and the loose ball is picked up by this man on the near side. He plays it back into the middle, on the edge, for the man with the black boots. Avays Tomo's challenge, and shoots! Remember that scene in Space Jam where all the big basketball stars forget how to play basketball? This right here is the Sunday League version. We've forgotten how to play, but take nothing away from Merchant. This lad done really well to get away from everyone and uh, get the shot in. Lovely strike too. And for the first time in pre-season, we find ourselves in a losing position. Should be interesting to see how we get back into this. That is if we remember how to play. It's Merchant 3, Palmer's FC 2. Right, let's kick off. All I'm going to say is no more crap. We don't want any more crap. <laughs> I think Tomo might have got involved with a little bit of crap there. But he's putting it behind him. He wins the ball back here. Makes his way forward. Nobody's up for a shot. Good block there. I'm almost certain that was ended up on the next pitch. 15 minutes plus stoppage time to go. And since getting that third, Merchant have sat back a little bit. We've got Connor C here who picks the ball up from Big Josh. He makes his way to the edge of the box and hits it with the left. But now my friends ain't troubling the keeper. We continue to look to get back into this game. We're with Tomo who's well out of breath right now, but keeps on going like a soldier. Gets beyond his first man here. Then plays a little pass between two players for Jacob. He puts it towards the byline for Connor C. Can he get it back into the box? He can, but it's soft. Another simple one for the keeper. Over that far side, we've got Charlie who's been on for a lot of the second half, but we haven't seen much at all, really. He skips me on one man with orange boots, then another with black boots. Plays it onto the edge of the box for Josh. My bad. Big Josh who dinks it over the top, but nobody's there. Another easy one for the keeper. 84 on the clock now as we come forward once more. It's Dwight into the box for Bill, who looks to be running out of ideas at this point, surrounded by yellow shirts. Nobody really offering any help, so Bill's going to try and go it alone. And in the end, he looks to swing it into the box. That's blocked, and that's going to be cleared by a merchant once more. Into the 90 now, and the white cone has stayed intact for the whole of this second half. It's great stuff, but Bill's going to latch onto this mistake here as he makes his way into the box. Can he get the equalizer at the death? Well, that shot is blocked there as it comes back down, it bounces high, it's over Bill, off of the defender, that's out for the corner. And so it's Tommy's next door neighbour that swings this one towards the back post.
And there he is, right at the death. Chances for days, but we always say it, don't we? He always gets his goal. He's the danger man, completely unmarked. Right foot volley. It came off the keeper in the end, hit the post and then went in. But on target, it's an equaliser and we'll take it. And so it's Merchant free, Palmer's FC free. And that is how it's going to end. <laughs> there you have it honours even in the end in this friendly well done to Merchant for getting back into it and making a game of it as I say first half we could have been well out of sight so that's something we've got to learn we've got to take our chances more often something else that worries me a little is we are conceding goals threes and fours at the moment and that my friends has got to change following this one we've got one last pre-season game then a charity game with the originals and then it's on to the season the proper season where I'm hoping we can tighten things up and get back to winning ways again thank you to Merchant for the game we may meet in the season in the cups it's certainly possible so we may see them again but for now and as I always say thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.